in Peter's second letter, um, he is warning and, and encouraging, be on the lookout, the Lord can return, speaks of the uh, elements, melting of the fervent heat, the destruction of the earth at the end. And then in the very last chapter of the second uh, of his letters, verse 14, he says, Beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace without spot and blameless. Account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, has written to you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to understand, which those who are untaught and unstable twist to their own destruction, as they do also the rest of the scriptures. Now, interesting that he does several things here. First of all, Peter, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, acknowledges that the writings of Paul were scripture. Now, he's speaking at a time when the settled scripture would have been just the Old Testament. Yet, he acknowledges uh, a clear understanding that, and probably to some degree about his own writings and the writings of the other apostles, that these were scriptures also. They were to unfold the event of Christ. But he tells us what Paul said, even though some of it's hard to understand. It's scripture. Then he says, unstable people and unlearned, and he doesn't he's not being derogatory here about people who may not have a degree, but who take no care to ed educate themselves, to understand the scripture, to read, to study, to meditate, so that they have right understandings of scripture. He said, there are some people who twist the scripture even to their own destruction. Now, this shouldn't be um, a surprise, some bombshell. The Bible can be twisted. The Bible can be made to say the opposite of what its clear intention is. The devil himself, if you can imagine the gall he had, he misquoted and misinterpreted the Bible, the scripture, to Jesus in the temptation in the wilderness. Jesus, who's the, the writer, he, he's the living word. And the devil had the brass to misquote Christ's own words back to him. It shouldn't surprise us then that scripture is twisted and can be twisted. I read a statement years ago that initially I thought maybe was a little... Uh, hard, but the longer I go, I'm convinced is correct. A dear, dear preacher of holiness, second work of grace, purifying our hearts, Samuel Logan Bringle, and he, he's been dead almost 90 years. Uh, he was a worldwide traveling evangelist with the Salvation Army. He made the statement that the scripture is not safe in the hands of an unsanctified, an unpurified heart. That sounds harsh, but the more we think of it, if we're not dead indeed unto God and alive, or dead indeed unto sin and alive unto God, and our hearts have been purified of self-sovereignty and carnality, we will twist even scripture to exonerate and justify ourselves when it comes to interpreting it. We'll interpret it in a way to make room for ourselves. If we think that that's too harsh or maybe that can't happen, can't do that to the Word of God. There is a little verse in the book of Jeremiah, it's Jeremiah 8, 8. And when he was speaking of the destruction God was just about to bring on Jerusalem and block them off the face of the earth, they said back to Jeremiah, that can't be. God has committed his word to us. We have the law of the Lord. 
Jeremiah's response in that eighth verse was, The lying pen of the scribes have turned it, the law of God, the word of God, into a lie. Now what does he mean there? The scribes, who are mentioned both in Old and New Testament, were translators and interpreters or commentators of Scripture. They were guilty, Jeremiah said, of so twisting the Scripture that it, it lied. It told the opposite of what God meant to say. My thought then on that scripture and this whole subject is, if the scripture can be twisted by those who are very familiar with it and who deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis, we have to be careful. I'm not talking about uh, some kind of cynical scrutinizing of everybody, but there are so many Christian, so-called Christian books, um, Bible commentator, Bible studies, all of these things that we have to be careful. Is this a twisting of scripture to fit a certain preconceived doctrine? Is this a scripture that has been twisted to justify someone's belief rather than letting the scripture speak for itself? If we're warned many times in scripture about the possibility of twisting scripture so that it deceives rather than enlightens and conveys truth, we need to take that to heart. So, don't grab every book off the Christian bookshelf. Everything that professes to be a study of such and such a book in the Bible or a brand new thought about, we need to be careful because it can be twisted. And Peter makes it clear the result of it can be destruction. So we need to be careful as we search the scripture, like the Berean church did when they heard Paul, says they eagerly searched the scriptures daily to see if the things Paul was telling them were true. That's what we need to do. Father in heaven, even the scripture is not off limits to the devil, and his angels and humans that will twist it. So Lord, I pray that you would help us. The Holy Spirit is very faithful to lead us into all truth, but help us to be on guard, lest we in any way be deceived by twisted scripture. In Jesus' name, amen.